So this right here is our super ugly rental fridge. I mean, it was probably here when they built this house about 85 years ago. Um, it's hideous and there's not much we can do about it. So um, we're gonna try and plasti dip it. Let's see how it works out. Yeah. First thing we're doing, hey. <laughs> <laughs> First thing we're doing is masking. We want to cover up the handles and the details. We're not gonna paint that. We picked that up at, at Home Depot, two bucks masking tape. To keep it simple, we're actually just masking this part right here. Uh, this right here has too many curves and edges to effectively mask it. So we're just gonna paint that too. So we just did the most important part, which is masking. We masked the handles used cardboard to cover up, uh, you know, the water giver, okay? And we also masked all the edges right here so that we can have clean edges. Same with the top. And we opened the fridge and applied masking tape right there too. Very important. This is the most important step. You wanna shake up the can really well. And the trick is to apply a really light coat in the beginning. So this right now is the first coat. It's a light coat. We're just gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes. Coat number two is making things look a little bit more even. We waited about 10 minutes. Technically, you're supposed to wait longer, but honestly, I find that plastic dip, plastic dip dries pretty quickly. Starting coat three. Make sure you're doing this in a really well ventilated area. Taking care of the final coat. It's looking so good. So the paint has dried and it looks beautiful. So smooth and clean. And now we're taking off the masking tape. We're using a knife to clean up the edges before we remove the masking tape um, around the water dispenser because otherwise it'll snag and look pretty messy around here. Lastly, we want to seal these edges with clear tape um, because it is Plasti Dip and it can peel off and we want to prevent that from happening. Here is the finished product about two weeks after move oh, shit. <laughs> here is the finished product we're really happy with it it's definitely an improvement from um from what we had before i mean depending on how the light falls on it like see here on the side you can tell that it's been painted but it's an improvement from what it was so um you know if we ever change our minds we can just peel it right off but for now we're definitely going to keep it like this so if you're going to try this project out for yourself, I would recommend that you um, make sure it's very well ventilated. We actually had to evacuate the area for like two days. I mean, the smell is overwhelming. Lots of fumes. Um, either get a mask or open all the windows. I mean, really make sure that you take, the, take this into account before you start on the project. And um, also uh, another piece of advice learned from our mistake. Um, Really, um, I think it would be better if you take off the masking tape while the paint is still um, still wet. Um, because otherwise, now that the paint was dry, it was like sticking to the tape and it was a little bit difficult. Probably would be easier if you do it while the paint is still wet. Um, so if this video was uh, helpful to you, uh, please put a like, um, leave a comment. Uh, my next video, I'll be showing you guys how I created a really awesome bougie bookcase for under... I think $120 total including the bookcase and all the decorations so um stay tuned for that or just you know maybe i'll never see you again but thank you subscribe